when I started playing Kanama, I just had fun with it. I, I started playing and I couldn't put it down. So thinking about competitions or going to events or jams or anything like that never really crossed my mind. I never thought that that was something that happened with Kanama. I just played because it was fun. When I found out that's how it was, I, I was very excited because to me, I'm, I'm a competitive person. I, I like to compete in things and I like to have fun with it, you know? So going from that mind state three years ago when I started to now and competing in the World Cup is just mind blowing to me. So the fact of having fun with Kendama is something that you need to keep. You can't get too worked up with the competition and, and the competitiveness and being the best in Kendama. You know, I think that happens to a lot of people. For me, I just want to make sure I still get the same joy that I did when I first picked it up when I went to Big Cup, you know? The World Cup. Um, so the first day during the qualifiers, I made sure that I could get all of my tricks. I wanted to make sure that I could land them all because I didn't want to go too high of a score so I could place higher and then end up not being able to land them all and, and not be able to you know qualify. So I made sure that I had enough points to get me into the finals, but not not too hard of tricks to where I wouldn't be able to land them. So the next day, that night, I, I was so hyped that I made it to the finals and I'm talking to Stott and I'm telling him, I, I think I can win it tomorrow, man. I think I can win it. I just got to get all my tricks. You know, I got to make sure I get all my tricks. So I had my run already planned out. I practiced back in Portland with Stott. You know, we were working on our final runs. We didn't even think about our qualifiers back in Portland. And going into it, I was finalizing them. So I was figuring out the exact tricks that I want to do in the exact spots and I'm looking at it few hours before my run and I'm finalizing it and I'm saying okay I got an 1100 point run if I get this 1100 point run I'm gonna win the competition if I get my all my points I will win I know I can do it and I get up there and the the difference from being on stage to to practicing your run in the back of the stage where no one can see you is extraordinary because I'm telling you these these pros I I, I won this competition because I had the right mindset at the right time for that day. But everyone has the skill to do it. It's just who's able to do it at this point in time in this environment. So when I got up there, it immediately, it, it, this trance I entered, I think, to where I went for my tricks, I start my run, I hear my song play, Teen Titans. I, 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 it was a song from my childhood. And, and so I think that helped me out a lot because I hear the song start, and I don't remember anything until the moment I stepped off stage. All I know is that I had so much fun while I was up there. So I get off and, and people are like, dude, you killed it, you killed it, you killed it. And I'm asking them, how did I do? I didn't even know what my score was, you know? And I'm thinking, I, I know I didn't get all my tricks. I knew that. I didn't know what tricks I did, but I knew I didn't get them all. I knew that I had around an 800, 900 point run. That's that was my idea. I think I think that's good. I don't I didn't get all my tricks, so I don't know what the final scores are going to turn out to be. But I, I think that's you know I, I still did pretty good. I did my best, and that's what I was stoked on. And then uh, they they come up, the officials come up to show me my score, you know, and make sure I'm, I I approve it, I okay it, and they show me the score, and it's 775 points, and I'm just like, oh man. I, that's my run, like, really? And I'm looking on my chest, man, like, I thought my run was higher than that. I guess I, it, I guess it wasn't, you know, I can't even remember my run. So I'm standing there and I'm, my, I'm with my brother, Stott, Nick Stott, and, and he's, you know, he's going last because he qualified first because he's a, a demon. He is crazy at Donald. And pretty much, I'm getting there, I'm getting psyched. I watch them all go and I, you know, we're getting all the runs. Hmm, this is how much points, this is how much Mikey got, this is how much Bonds got, this is how much Stott got. And me and Stott are talking outside and, and all I remember is, I think, it, yeah, it was Chris who walked up to me and goes, you're the Kanama World Champion. And he goes, you won. And I look at him and I'm like, no, 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 no. Because I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to tell myself. I knew I had watched the last four and I had looked and I was thinking to myself, I think I have, I could, I could get not only podium, but I could get first. But I didn't want to tell myself that because I didn't want to get so stoked on getting first and you know end up getting second or third because getting second or third isn't fun it's especially when you're when you're thinking you're going to place higher than that so i didn't want to tell myself that i had won so i'm sitting there and i'm standing there with Stodd and chris and chris is going you won and Stodd's going you won i'm and i'm going nah nah man like i don't know nah. like i they haven't said they haven't said anything yet i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say anything yet and chris is looking at me going oh you're world champion thinking he's being all funny you know and they announce Stodd for third and Stodd goes up there and we're clapping for Stodd and we're getting stoked and and I'm still telling myself, I'm no, nah, like you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything yet. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell myself I won yet. I, I'm not gonna tell myself that. And then they announce Lucas Funk, and Chris says it to me one more time, 
you're the Canal World Champion. And as they're saying, they say Lucas Funk's name, and that's the moment that I realized that I had won. That's the moment that I allowed myself to be happy. I allowed myself to be excited. And as that moment happened, I get swooped from under my feet by half the Konami USA team, Chris June, all, all these people that I that inspire me and that get me stoked to Dama. And to get swooped up by those people was so great because they're the ones that inspired me. They're the ones that got me there, you know? And they bring me up onto this stage and before they even announce my name, before Jake announces my name, they're, they throw me up there and I, I stumble on the stage, you know? Wyatt Bray! And they say my name and I'm standing there in that moment uh, that, I, that I realized right as I got up onto that stage and right as I got carried on, that moment realizing that I had won the Konami World Championship was an experience and a memory that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And something that I will never forget and something that I'll look back on and, and say this is one of the one of the most one of the one of the greatest times of my life was getting to go to Japan and experiencing it with my Konami Yusei family, experiencing it with my COTK family, and actually being able to take home the gold for myself, for my local team, and for Konami Yusei.